Hopefully be in two places at once. Oh god, I'm getting flashbacks. You think? Hello everybody, my name is Freedom Flash and today I'll be giving my overinflated opinion on every little thing she does. Literally. So I think this blink really conveys her emotion in a most fantastic and this joke is old already. So, why does this bit exist? It's a perfectly serious question. Starlight apparently has a properly functioning cloning spell and doesn't use it. I suppose we did this already, but if we were never going to use clones then why does this bit exist? Well, the answer is Chekhov's gun. Essentially the logic of the Chekhov's gun trope is that there is no point in mentioning something unless you intend to use it later on in the story. If there's a gun over the mantelpiece, someone is going to get shot. And it's probably going to be me. So this section exists purely to show that Glim Glam can combine spells. Fair enough, let's move on. What made you think that casting a spell on your friends to do your bidding was even remotely a good idea? Or not. Twilight's right. What in the Sam Hill were you thinking? I mean, besides your previous encounters with magic and friendship, shouldn't what you're doing be a bit illegal? Imperio was considered an unforgivable curse for a reason. Just keep following the instructions in the book until I get back. Phrasing. Pinky, what are you doing? Told you. Oh, for. This is fine. One of the things I found quite interesting was seeing more of Twilight's castle. Glen Glam's bedroom, the Santa chamber, the tiny kitchen, and apparently the castle is so big that entire corridors are totally unused. Now, let's ask a comparative question. Is Starlight's indiscretion worse than Twilight's was? Eh, a bit debatable. Twilight affected more people, but Starlight affected them on a much more fundamental level. Speaking of comparing these two, is it just me or is Starlight outpacing Twilight for magical prowess? The biggest thing we've really seen Twilight do is her skill with levitation. Compare that to Glim Glam's mind control, cutie mark removal, self-levitation, self-duplication, speed and sheed spells, not to mention time travel, and Twilight, the supposed element of magic, is stacking up pretty poorly. It's a bit interesting, isn't it? I've been Freedom Flash. And thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, this is better than I could have hoped.